So my name is Barrett Dance. Um, I'm the owner and head coach here at Crosswood Good Dane. Um, background, uh, I guess I've been kind of a gym rat my whole life. Started lifting weights by myself in high school at Kennedy else because I was a uh, football player, a typical football player lifting weights. Um, played college football in a small school. Um, and just really just began to love the off season, I guess. Through football, it's a lot of weight training and conditioning and things like that. Um, so I always knew that I had kind of a passion for the strength and conditioning world. Um, I always have been a guy that would go out and do my own research and things like that. And just kind of uh, test myself and be a guinea pig for all kinds of certain different things. So um, just that's just kind of my, my personal mindset, I guess. In college, I uh, pursued an undergrad degree and it gets a little complicated. It was actually physical education, health, and adaptive physical education. Okay. And I also got what they call an emphasis in exercise science. Okay. Which is basically the same standard of an extra minor in exercise science. Like I said, I've always had a huge interest in that side of things. And sure. So, um, I took a couple extra classes and you know, my credits. I've always been, uh, I guess, a natural leader in a way. So even in college, in high school, I would like personally train friends and things like that. Sure. People would always come with questions and I just love kind of helping them out and things like that. So I knew that was something that I wanted to pursue. Did some personal training at health clubs in college. Um, to be totally honest, wasn't a huge fan of that setting. Setting probably because of my athletic background. I like the the setting that's very similar to CrossFit, where it's um, you know, it's loud and it's chaotic, and people are working and throwing around heavy weights and things like that. And I just don't really see that, I guess, in a lot of health clubs where it's really quiet and people are on right. treadmills and their earbuds in. <laughs> So, um, not that there's anything, if that's your thing, but sure. it just wasn't for me, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, got a job as a PE teacher uh, right out of school, I was very lucky, um, in the Milwaukee area. Taught there for three years, and um, during that time I pursued a certification through the National Strength and Conditioning Association, so I'm a certified strength and conditioning specialist, CSCS. Is that sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, one of my prouder ones, I guess, because that was a really tough certification to get. Um, to kind of give a little background on it, you can't even take the test unless you have an undergrad degree oh, in a health science related field. Um, just a really tough test. Right. It's the only, I guess, it's the only, or at least it was when I took the test, the only nationally accredited um, strength and condition certification that there is. Okay. So, obviously. Uh, right. right, yeah. Uh, so I, I, you know, because I knew I wanted to pursue some kind of strength and conditioning coaching. I was already doing that, um, I guess, off the books um, at the high school I was at. I coached powerlifting. Um, that was the rest of the books. They, they had a club there, which is a really cool, cool research it's a resource for kids um, that I was able to do. But then I was also like the, the strength and conditioning coach for the football team and. and for some of the basketball teams here and there. Mm -hmm. um, wasn't actually paid for it, so that's why I say it was off the books. It was kind of a bit of my own art, right. just because it was a passion of mine. Sure. And I knew that if I didn't do it, they wouldn't get the quality of teaching or programming from their coach, because it's just not the resource that they have. Right. So always was kind of that guy in sure. the building. And, uh, was teaching. Um, teaching was a great job, um, but just, knew that I didn't want to do it forever. Mm -hmm. um, so started just pursuing other outlets or other possibilities. Like I mentioned, the strength and conditioning certification. That was actually, uh, initially I thought I would go back and be a graduate assistant. Either pursue coaching football or coaching strength and conditioning. Um, and kind of an option. It was a tough choice for me at the time because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to coach. Um, it was a, Good problem to have because I had the option. But right. Just trying to figure that out. Um, and that was a little bit before, right around the time I started CrossFit. And the more I did it, the more I fell in love with it. And I thought that this, this program um, is pretty legit, but it's done correctly. Obviously, and I thought right. I had the background and the skills necessary to provide that for people. 
So I found CrossFit uh, three years ago now. Started training at CrossFit 414. Well, actually, it's a backup. I found, um, like I mentioned, I did always did a lot of research on my own. Articles just started popping up more and more about CrossFit in the last couple of years. Yeah. Just them now. Yeah. Four or five years ago, it was just every couple of weeks something would pop up. And it would either be the typical hater article or the tri which is the same as it is now. Of course. Um, so, uh, you know, I saw it enough where I decided I wasn't going to be the type of person that's going to read an article and make a decision based on that. I was going to try it myself. The whole idea was to try and get it done as fast as possible, obviously, to get form and all that good stuff. Right. I just remember um, finishing the sets of 15 and being like, I don't think I could snatch 95 <laughs> one more time, let alone nine more times. I did it, you know, like anything else, it's cool because you can you do, accomplish something you think you're going to do. Right. But just was dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, that was hard, really hard. Sure. And it's legit. To me, it was. Right. Um, nothing that hard is, to, in my mind, was something that was that difficult to complete has to come with some kind of benefit to it. Right. Um, I guess I've always been in that mindset. Just had a really, really organic conversation with a buddy one night. Um, honestly, we were drinking at a party, at like a Christmas party. <laughs> sure. Had a couple cocktails. Almost great ideas. And, you know, it was just, you know, I was work going and blah, blah, blah. And I just went from work's okay, but I really like to, you know, I'm pursuing some other things. What do you really want to do? Um, I mentioned that my dream job would be going to CrossFit gym. Um, and so we just talked about it. And like a week later, he called me and he just mentioned that you know, he had some opportunities to kind of make the financing side possible. And we had to get a business plan together if it wasn't going to be possible at all. So um, I had actually already started doing that. So little did I know, I had put together the meat and potatoes of it. He cleaned it up big time. <laughs> Sure. But uh, yeah, it started with a really just friendly, organic conversation. And a couple months later, I remember it was like three, two or three months later, we finished our business plan, and, you know, seeking financing. And it came together really fast, actually. Nice. Um, I definitely recommend trying a little bit of everything, for sure. Um, I say that. And, uh, certification costs money. Oh yeah, this. absolutely. So that's tough. Mm -hmm. I totally get that. You know, the CSCS costs me like a thousand bucks. The L1 costs a thousand bucks. You know, so you've got to kind of pick and choose and you got to take it a year or two at a time. But, uh, you know, no certification in the workplace experience.